Let me say that as of yesterday, um, the vaccine fund, the balance on the account was, was just over 4 million, but we have raised 10.7 million since we opened the fund this year. We transferred 7.7 .7 into the consolidated fund, obviously to help finance um, some of these operations. Um, there's a balance of just over 4 million on the account at the moment, but we have raised 10.7 million dollars to date as it relates to the, to the vaccine fund. And as we move forward, obviously, the more vaccine that we can acquire, it means that all Barbadians will be able to avail themselves of that. The Financial Services Commission has been working with the credit union to ensure that the extension of moratorium can be done to, uh, to ensure that we can keep Barbadians um, within their homes and that we work out plans that would allow them to not feel um, stressed because of the current environment to be able to ensure that there are plans in place to be able to allow people to stay in their homes and, and, and feel a sense of security from that perspective. And we will continue to monitor um, those arrangements to ensure that obviously whatever regulatory arrangement needs to be made, that we make the provisions for that to allow for persons to, to, to see the way through so that once the economy recovers that there's a credible plan obviously to be able to ensure that any loans that are extended obviously can be, can be repaid. But it is critically important now at this point to ensure that one, we get access to the vaccines and I know I'm very confident as we're here at the Masonic Lodge and I really want to thank them for making this venue available to the um, coordinating team to be able to help vaccinate Barbadians in an early fashion and I, I must say um, I know that this has been an evolving process and we are seeing improvements as we go along each and every time and I really do want to just encourage Barbadians that once the vaccines become available I encourage you all to consult your doctor make that decision and make yourself available at the nearest um, vaccination site to allow us to achieve a level of herd immunity such that we can all get about to some level of normality and I wish that for every every everybody and if we all work together as the credit union's motto really has been from inception us working together to ensure that we can keep each other safe so I really want to thank you on behalf of the people in the government of Barbados for this donation this morning